Hello everyone, my name is Adi and today I will be showing you how to create non-mirroring liveries for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now I did make a tutorial on this about a year ago, but unfortunately the channel on which I uploaded that video got terminated recently, so I've decided to make a new one. In this tutorial I'll be covering how to make a non-mirroring livery for the 747, but the same concepts used in the 747 also apply to any aircraft of your choice. I'll also be covering how to do freighter liveries and how to add decals to the engines. Let us begin. So the first thing, I already have Blender 3.0 installed. I use this for my aircraft development since I have to use Microsoft Flight Simulator Toolkit plugin for Blender for aircraft. But for liveries, I use the fly-by-wire plugin which I find works best with version 2.92. So we'll be installing that now. So go to your browser and search for blender.org. Click on download. Click on previous versions. Right here, click on download every version of Blender. Scroll down until you find 2.92. And if you also have another alternate version like I have 3.0 here, I suggest downloading the zip. I will now create a brand new folder just for this. Here it is. Take this folder, drag and drop it in. We've basically extracted the zip that we just downloaded to a brand new folder. There we go, that is done. Let us now launch blender.exe. And I'll also pin this to the taskbar. Now I, I still have the Blender 2.92 settings installed so you can see my recent files and stuff like that. But when you open it for the first time you'll get a few options and once you're done picking those you'll be on something like this. Go back to your browser and now we will download the fly-by-wire github from the fly-by-wire github found here. You scroll down until you click on view all repositories and scroll down again until you find msfs to blend it to msfs this is a plugin that fly by wire has made and actually has the creators of these plugins have now uh, actually worked with asobo themselves to create an official blender plugin but i haven't tested the asobo one for liveries so let's stick to the fly by wire original one which is now archived you click on the green code button and click on the download button you then open this zip Open this folder, open add-ons, and you're met with IO scene GLTF2 MSFS. We will now open app data. So type percent app data percent, it will open the roaming folder, I believe, in of your computer. And you then open Blender Foundation, Blender 2.92. You might not have a scripts folder here. If not, just create a new one. Create a new one, name it scripts, just like this. Then create another one called add-ons inside it. Then drag and drop the IOC and GLTF2 MSFS into the add-ons folder. Just like that. You can then go back to Blender. Click on edit, preferences. Make sure you are on the add-ons page. And search for MSFS. You should find this right here. It will be unticked for you probably. But... If it's unticked, you just click on the, the little box over here, it will, it will become uh, enabled. And now we'll follow certain steps to make sure that this is installed properly and works properly. First thing you'll do is click download textcon.exe. This will now download an application to your computer. You can then click on this little folder icon, go to downloads, select textcon.exe. Then paths for converted textures. Here we'll create a random folder. I've named it ASDF GLTF in my uh, D drive. And I just keep, this is just a place where, where it just dumps textures. So you just want to make a random folder, which is probably in your hard drive. Don't keep it in your SSD since it's, gonna take, since it's gonna take quite a lot of space. But it's just a place where it dumps its textures. Then for the last one, path to flight, flight simulator root level. We will find our official MSFS directory as in the one just before official and community. 
and oops just like that now your plugin is installed